on those pages. As always, Matt, great talking to you, my friend. We're going to republish the 400 Chernobyls in this edition of the X Chronicles. We are going to send this link to uh, of this interview, Matt, to everyone we can. We have to do something. And as as I've said, I don't know how many times over the last 22 years doing this job, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And you, my friend, are part of the solution. What would you like to leave with the Exxon Nation tonight? What have we left out that we can cram into the next three minutes? Well, you know, it's it's a situation. I once worked on a local political campaign mm-hmm. in where they they where our, my home was was on Banner Lava Cap Mountain in the foothills of the High Sierras outside Nevada City. And it had been a gold mining town and they had a deep gold hard rock gold mine located you know, on Banner Lava Cap Mountain and it had been out of operation for 30 or 40 years. And they wanted to pump it dry and restart the mine. And a lot of people thought that was great, but the locals all thought, like, wow, you know, our water supplies that we all depend on is going to go away when they're just pumping all the water out of the ground and draining, you know, this huge hard rock mine where everyone now lives. It used to be totally out in the boonies, and now it's, it, you know, lots and lots of people live in there. And so I went to battle for that, along with a lot of other people. And on the last day, I made dozens of phone calls and a lot of people changed their mind based on those phone calls well it turned out that the vote against the mine won by eight votes oh. so every single person yeah. that got on that phone and called a bunch of people could feel that they personally made the difference between having a water supply and not having a water supply because that's what it would have done it would have it would have wiped out the water level in the ground and and everyone's wells would have failed why why do you think and we all knew we made that difference so this is something Mm -hmm. like that you can go out and work on this and this is really something like the future of your children the future of america the future of life as you know it on this planet possibly in the worst case the future of mammalian life on this planet i mean if if we have 400 nuclear reactors worldwide they're all melting down or most of melting down because of an extreme solar event and we did nothing, and and humanity was wiped out, and all all people were wiped out because of that. And and then you realize that you could have done something and didn't. You know, think of how what yeah. a tragedy that would be. Why do you think people are so complacent? Well, they think they're powerless and they can do nothing, and they think the government won't listen and big business runs everything. And to some degree, they're right. But you know, if the ninety nine percent doesn't start taking our power back, the yeah. Business as usual is going to take down the planet. There's six trends I've, defi- I've, I've identified in another groundbreaking article called The Perfect Storm, Six Trends Converging on Collapse. And if the 99% doesn't take our power back, we are going to collapse the world. The natural systems that support life as we know it on this planet are going to collapse. And, it, and it'll collapse without God intervening and without a solar storm and without things. So we're headed for the brick wall. Now, we might hit it really fast if that solar storm comes, and we might hit it a lot slower if we just don't change the way we do business. But we're headed for that brick wall any way you look at it. And if we don't wake up and do something about it, then we're going to be part of the problem instead of part of the solution. Matt, I want to thank you ever so much for joining us. Always great talking to you, my friend. Keep the great work up, Matt. We're going to do whatever we can to get this message out there. And uh, Exxon Nation, don't forget, it's not I the person, it's we the people. Take back the power. You can and will make a difference. For more information on Matt Stein, visit two websites, wentechfails.com and mattstein.com. You can also follow him on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn by going to the sites, that, which are, again, wentechfails.com or when or mattstein.com. I'll be back on the other side of the news at six and a half minutes past the top of the hour as we continue here in the X-Zone with yours truly, Rob McConnell. Don't go away now.